Now, we were flying high, and this pun intended there because we all Ravens fans, you know, Ravens are birthday fly. Anyway, we were flying high, doing great. Things were amazing. Yesterday, we looked at the injury report. The three people on there, they weren't even injured. Nobody was hurt. It was just showing people that were returning uh, from previous injuries, but they were practicing in full. So we were like, all right, we're good. And they showed Odell Beckham Jr. on there because he had a rest day. It's like, all right, we ain't worried about that. Cool. We good. So we were feeling great yesterday as Ravens fans. We're like, oh, man, we're so healthy. Like, nobody on the 53-man roster is hurt. Oh, let's go. But sometimes it seems like, as Ravens fans, when we have something good, it just seems like the NFL wants to take it away from us. The NFL world just wants to rip it from us. And that's what they're trying to do when it comes to Keaton Mitchell. Keaton Mitchell, of course, in last week's game, had a breakout game against the Seahawks. He went off. He went crazy. Uh, got his touchdown. Almost had two touchdowns. Uh, but he went wild with it, and he ended up winning NFL's FedEx Ground Player of the Week. So shout out to Keaton Mitchell. Uh, we were very, very proud of him. It was nice to see just the the progress, to have him see him in preseason, go off in preseason, make the roster, and then get his opportunity, and boom, he made the most of it for sure. But he was added to the injury report today. Uh, he was listed as limited in today's practice with a hamstring injury. Now, the reason that that is scary and that's concerning is because – when he left his first game, the first game that he played a couple of weeks ago, he didn't finish that game, and it was because of a hamstring injury. Then he missed the following game because of a hamstring injury. So I really do, I really hope that this hamstring injury that he had, that he sustained, whether he sustained it yesterday or sustained it today, I really hope that this is not a continuous thing, that it's not an ongoing thing, and that tomorrow... We'll get a report. Oh, Keaton Mitchell, he practiced in full. Oh, Keaton Mitchell's back. Oh, Keaton Mitchell be good to go for Sunday. That's what I'm hoping the, the news that we'll get tomorrow because this does concern me. And I ain't trying to freak nobody out, but it, it just is what it is. This, this is a reoccurring injury so far because he just had this recently. Uh, he dealt with this recently, and now he's dealing with it again. So hopefully it's not an ongoing thing and it can just it can get healed <laughs> fast. Um, so he can be good to go for not only Sunday, but for the future as well. Now, um, one thing that I do hope the Ravens do, and I'm sure that they will, uh, if this ends up being the case. Hopefully, we don't even have to have this conversation because tomorrow he'll be back in practice and be great. But yeah, but uh, one thing that I hope the Baltimore Ravens do um, is if, say for instance, if it comes to Sunday and his hamstring injury is bothering him, but he feel like, oh, no, I can still give it a go. Just rest him. Rest him. And not that we, not that it's that we don't need him against the Browns, because we need everybody we could possibly get against the Browns, because they coming in hot. They they trying to get this thing done. They just shut out the Cardinals, I think, last week. So they feeling themselves right now, as they should be, because hey, everybody in the AFC North should be feeling themselves, because they all got over five hundred by two games apiece, I think. And uh, but Ravens should be feeling themselves the most, because they're at the top. But anyway, Browns are they playing some good football right now? Um, but we need Keaton Mitchell. For the long haul We need him for the long run um, So if if it's bothering him If it's a little bit shaky come Sunday I wouldn't even play I, I wouldn't even risk it I, Nope, I, I would just sit him just to be safe But again, hopefully we don't even have to have that conversation Come this Sunday One thing that I did not realize Somebody brought it to my attention earlier today That uh, we remember whenever we talk about the Browns-Ravens game From a couple of weeks ago uh, the highlight is that Deshaun Watson didn't play. And obviously that made a big difference for the Browns because they were playing with their $230 million man versus a fifth-round rookie at the quarterback position. That makes a huge difference. But I did not remember that Ravens had a lot of people out too. Marlon Humphrey was out. I think Odell Beckham Jr. was out. I think Rashad Bateman was out. Um, Adafi Away, I think he was out that game too. Was David Ajabo out that game? I don't even remember. But it was a lot of people that were out too for the Baltimore Ravens as well. Uh, but... They held. I think Ronnie Stanley was out of that game too. I think Pat, yeah, Pat McCarry. I think started on that left side of the offensive line. And ooh, <laughs> that's my, my look. Miles was scared to do it to anybody, but boy, he ooh, he was getting Pat McCarry that game, boy. Anyway, um, so yeah, but Ravens obviously prevailed. They won twenty eight to three. But now Ravens are getting a lot of guys back for this Browns game. Now they're gonna get Deshaun Watson back, but Ravens are getting a lot of guys back too. So they should be in good shape now. Um, somebody that missed that first Browns game, um, but they were looking like they were going to play in this game. We'll see now. Marlon Humphrey. Uh, Marlon Humphrey, he's healthy ever since he's been back. He missed the first four games with that foot injury. Uh, but now uh, he practiced in four yesterday, but then today he was limited. They said he has a hamstring injury. That's what they listed on the uh, the practice report, the injury report. Um, so that's concerning as well. Um, hopefully, again, hopefully with him and Keaton Mitchell – this ends up being a bunch of nothing. 
It ends up being a bunch of nothing, and tomorrow they practice in full. We move on. But, again, concerning. Very concerning because that's Ravens starting cornerback. That's Baltimore Ravens' best cornerback, uh, especially over the past couple of weeks. I know Jonah Schaefer had highlighted uh, Marlon Humphrey, um, his statistics over the past, I think, four weeks. And just letting us know, Marlon Humphrey has been playing lockdown football uh, and been just doing an amazing job of it. He said uh, Marlon Humphrey over the past four weeks, uh, he had two targets, zero completions, zero yards allowed. Another game, he had two targets, gave up one completion, five yards allowed. Another game, he had zero targets, zero completions, zero yards allowed. And another game, he had two targets, uh, zero completions, zero yards allowed. So that's amazing over these past four games. But that's amazing. That is locked down, literally locked down. Because he hasn't been giving up anything. Um, but, yeah. So, it, it, it's important that we have Marlon Humphrey. Because Marlon Humphrey, he is like that. This, despite what you done heard some Ravens fans say. Despite how some Ravens fans may feel about Marlon Humphrey. He still is nice like that. Something else that's nice like that. Before we get into this other news. Um, are these jackets. These varsity jackets. Now, um, standwithusclosing.com. They decided they really wanted to hook y'all up. They really care about y'all, Team Keep It Clean. They really do. Because what they did, what they said, they were like, all right, Team Keep It Clean, we know that. They go visit the site. They look at the jackets. They love the jackets. They want to get the jackets. But they look at the price and they're like, oof. So they gave y'all the 10% off. When you use code engraving, they gave y'all 10% off. But they say, you know what? Since we love Team Keep It Clean so much, we really want to take care of them. So we are giving them 25% off of these varsity jackets. Same code. Same engraving code. You use the code engraving. You get 20, not 10%, 25% off of these varsity jackets. This purple and black one, the gray and black one, the white and green. 25% off. That's a lot. So y'all make sure y'all take advantage of that. The link is down below in the description. Now, um, back to the practice report you know, from today. Um, some other people that were added to there uh, were Jalen Armour Davis. He was added to there. He missed practice today with an illness. I don't know if this is the same illness that Mike Pierce got because uh, he also missed practice today with that same illness from yesterday. So hopefully that can clear itself up very, very soon. Um, and also, but in weird news that I didn't hear nothing about this before, but Rashad Bateman, he was limited today with a back injury. Now, with Rashad Bateman having a back injury, I'm just going to assume that he's going to have a great game against the Browns this Sunday. The reason I say that is because Rashad Bateman is already anticipating carrying the wide receivers in the game against Cleveland this Sunday. And he, he, he already know he's going to have the weight of the world on his shoulders, but he's going to be able to withstand it. So, Rashad Bateman, I'm looking forward to your amazing game this coming Sunday. So, shout out to you. Now, um, some good news that we got from the practice report. Um, Morgan Moses, uh, who had missed last week's game with an injury, he practiced in full the past two days. He should be good to go. And also uh, Marcus Williams, who missed last week's game in the past couple of weeks with a hamstring injury. And that also will give his, his pec some time to heal up, too. Uh, but he, he practiced in four the past two days as well. So he should be good to go, too. So that should give Ravens an even more quality depth uh, on that back end. So right now it's been um it's been obviously Geno Stone and he has been just being amazing, uh but it's been a little Daryl Worley uh, um, they've just been mixing up obviously Kyle Hamilton but Kyle Hamilton be a, he a little bit be, be a little bit everywhere that's why I always call Kyle I don't call Kyle Hamilton a safety he got drafted as a safety and that's technically his position but he ain't no safety he is a baller straight up that's it he's a baller. He plays everywhere. He does everything. That man can play some football, man. We love Kyle Hamilton. Love, 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 love Kyle Hamilton. That dude is a baller. Um, but having Marcus Williams back there makes life even better for the Baltimore Ravens. Um, so, and Odell Beckham Jr., he, of course, didn't practice yesterday. They said he had a rest day, but he practiced in full today. Not limited, but in full today. Um, so, it would be nice if Odell could continue getting back in the swing of things, just getting more involved and whatnot. And it's funny, I always see the conversation about um, people talk about Odell being force-fed. Uh, I mean, you're paying somebody a $15 million contract. I don't think it's force-fed. You, you pay them for a reason, man. There's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, so Odell going to get his, man. He going to get his. But, yeah, uh, this injury report, this is not what we like to see. Uh, but hopefully this thing clears up a lot tomorrow. Now, um, when you looked at the Texans injury report, I looked at that thing. I said, this can't even be real. It don't even look real. So as Ravens fans, I guess we've got to be grateful for that because those, the, how the, the way that the Texans injury report looks, that's how Baltimore Ravens injury report used to look for the past couple of years. But oh, it feels like we had a good place. Things are going pretty good right now. Ravens are pretty healthy for the most part. I know this injury report today is concerning, but for the most part, 
Ravens are in a really good spot, so we're grateful for that. Now, something else that's a really good spot is a good tailgate spot. And if you want to come to a fun tailgate, uh, it'll have Spencer Schultz, those Ravens for Dummies. It'll have Cole Jackson. It'll have Kevin Ostriker. It'll have the kid Gowie in the building. Uh, it'll have Jack Settleman in the building. Y'all know Jack Settleman does a, the Punchline podcast with Marlon Humphrey. And then some boring, lame dude, I, I, me, well, I'll be there too. But that don't make no difference. But all them people will be there, so it should be a lot of fun. Uh, and if y'all want to be a part of that, you can click the link in the description and use code engraving to get $5 off. Now, um, what the tailgate includes, unlimited food, unlimited drinks, and you get merch too. <laughs> hey, you can't beat that. For, no, you, you really can't beat that. So if you want to come through, if it's for the Thursday night football game, not the Browns, for the Bengals Thursday night football game. Click the link in the description. It'll take you right there. The tickets are selling out fast. They, they really are. Um, Jack Settlement, he, he showed everybody a screenshot of how many tickets are left. It's not many. So they, they going like that. So y'all better get on it quick if you're going to be there.